Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The introduction of aircraft as a means of moving cargo and freight from one place to another quite literally changed the logistics industry forever. Though most of the early efforts were focused on military supplies, air freight quickly evolved into a multi-billion dollar commercial enterprise after the 1950s. One of the first industries to take advantage of this new method of shipping was the automotive industry. In fact, the development of roll-on, roll-off planes revolutionized the transportation of cars by air. This method involves driving vehicles onto specialized aircraft with built-in ramps, making loading and unloading much more efficient. When the 2014 Mini Cooper was released, company owner BMW utilized air freight extensively in order to ship the newly finished vehicles to various global car shows. In order to minimize the mileage put on the vehicles, they are typically transported to the airport in trucks. From there, the cars are prepped for loading onto the aircraft. In this case, that means placing them atop specialized pallets. Some of which are one level, and some of which are two levels. These pallets are then loaded into the waiting aircraft, an Atlas Air Boeing 747. This specialized cargo version of the famous passenger plane features side and front cargo doors for easy loading, as well as rollers inside to make moving the pallets as easy as possible. Once in place, each pallet must be secured to prevent them from shifting during flight. The people in charge of this procedure are known as loadmasters, who give the final word on when the plane is ready for takeoff. You gotta go both pages. Go there. And then come back there. Of course, even carrying only Mini Coopers, planes cannot begin to match the capacity of roll-on, roll-off ships. Which can carry thousands of cars simultaneously. For this reason, Air freight for vehicles quickly evolved into something reserved for major businesses and luxury car buyers. Emirates, for instance, introduced a service called Emirates Wheels. This allowed for the shipping of luxury cars, especially race cars, from country to country in a matter of hours. The owners of these cars often pay top dollar for the service. 
and the Emirates team takes great care to deliver a premium experience to every client. BMW formed a partnership with German airline Lufthansa for its BMW Vision iNext world flight. A marketing and promotional event meant to showcase their 2018 concept car. The event involved a journey around the world, debuting the concept car at various significant locations and events. The goal of the tour was to demonstrate BMW's commitment to innovative mobility solutions and promote electric and autonomous driving technologies. The project also required that one of Lufthansa's cargo planes be completely transformed into a mobile showcase with lights a rotating turntable, and music. Perhaps no vehicle travels by plane more than those belonging to world leaders. This is because air travel is much faster and affords higher levels of security for these VIPs. However, moving multiple cars and equipment by plane takes a remarkable amount of planning. Reducing threats is actually the primary purpose behind the presidential motorcade. Motorcades have been around since the introduction of the automobile. But similar processions using horses and buggies have been done for centuries. The term generally refers to a highly organized and secure convoy of vehicles that transport government officials and dignitaries quickly, safely, and efficiently. For the United States, the centerpiece of the motorcade is the presidential limousine. often referred to as the Beast. This heavily armored vehicle is designed to protect the president from various threats, including those of a physical, chemical, and electronic nature. The rest of the convoy consists of a series of support vehicles manned by Secret Service agents, including some that act as decoys for the presidential limo to confuse would-be attackers. Finally, most motorcades will ask for help from local law enforcement, which can provide extra surveillance while clearing traffic and controlling crowds. The reason why many Secret Service members are able to handle their jobs so well is that most of them have backgrounds in the U.S. military. For the Air Force, Army, and Marines, getting land vehicles like tanks and Humvees to soldiers who need them is one of the most important jobs there is.
military logistics crews move thousands of support vehicles over millions of miles every year. Of course, depending on the situation, these men and women may have to find some very creative ways to do their jobs safely and efficiently. One of the most versatile cargo aircraft ever designed is the McDonnell Douglas C-17 Globemaster. First introduced in 1995, the C-17 is designed primarily for the rapid strategic airlift of troops, equipment, and supplies into and out of combat zones. At 174 feet long, the aircraft boasts an impressive capacity. In fact, it can carry up to 170,000 pounds at a time, including multiple armored and non-armored vehicles. It can also operate from more austere locations, allowing it to deliver its cargo right to the front lines. The loading process is aided by the plane's spacious cargo bay, which features both rollers and tie-down hooks for securing pallets and vehicles in place. If the logistics techs were to secure one of these Humvees improperly, the shift in weight could lead to a potentially deadly accident. In some cases, a vehicle delivery may be deemed too risky due to the location or the lack of a safe landing space. When this happens, the commanding officers may determine that the best course of action is an airdrop. Fortunately, the loadmasters and air crews of the U.S. military are able to ensure safe delivery through the use of a variety of techniques. This is where vehicles and cargo are loaded onto pallets, fixed with parachutes, and dropped out of the C-17's rear cargo door. Since nobody will be in place to deploy the chute, these ensure it happens automatically. The average Humvee can weigh anywhere between 5,000 and 9,000 pounds. This can make airdrops extremely dangerous. The C-17 crew will also pay close attention to their altitude during the airdrop. ensuring that the vehicles hit their target and keep them from falling into civilian or enemy hands. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.